Micro bits are a great way to start off learning and diving into block coding. Micro bits are a physical device that you can code on your computer and then see your output on the device. With make code, there is a simulator as well, so you can work on your code without actually having to have the physical device with you. In this video, we're going to dive through just the basics of what make code is, and we're going to walk through a basic project and show all the aspects of make code and how you can use it starting today. Let's dive in. All right, to begin with, we are going to head over to makecode.microbit.org. Once there, you will see this website. At the top, you will see your projects. Next, you will see tutorials. Underneath that, you will see tutorials for the new version, the V2 micro bits. You'll see some videos on some live coding, some games, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start by signing in. Choose your method of how you would like to sign in. I'm going to choose login with Google. All right, we are logged in. Currently, I don't have any projects, but being logged in means that my projects will be saved so I can come back to them and I can work on them after I've finished a particular session. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our first tutorial and we're going to look at the flashing hearts tutorial. And once you click on the flashing heart, you can play a video lesson and then you can also choose how you want to start coding. We're going to use block coding. It's going to present you here with a little dialog box showing you the finished product of what we are going to be coding here. Once we are all finished, we're going to be able to code a flashing animated heart on our micro bit. Before we start working on this project, I wanted to walk you through some of the aspects of micro bit make code. So first, as we're walking through the tutorials, you will see that there are directions at the top here. These directions walk you through exactly the steps that you need to do to achieve, in this case, the flashing heart on our micro bit. Next, you're going to have your toolbox. Here's going to be where all of your tools are and all the blocks that you're going to need to achieve your output, which in this case is going to be a flashing heart. At the bottom here, we have the download button. This is where we are going to be connecting a physical micro bit to our computer. Here's where we would download the code and have it put onto our physical micro bit so we can see the output on the actual device. During this video, we won't be utilizing the download feature, but just know that if you're going to be downloading it to a physical micro bit, here's where you would do that. All right, and finally, we have our simulator micro bit up here. This allows us to, as we are coding, we can test our code, and then it's going to show up here so we can see if what we are coding over here is actually producing the results that we are looking for. All right, let's dive in and let's start beginning our code here. So our directions say to click on the basic category in the toolbox, drag the show LED block into the forever block. Then in the show LED block, click on the squares to draw a heart design. So here we have our forever block. That just means it's going to be a continuous loop. So whatever type of tools or blocks that we put inside here are just going to continuously loop over and over again until we put some type of code in there to tell it to stop or to do something else. So our directions say to click on the basic category and to drag over a show LED. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna click and hold, and I'm gonna drag, and you'll notice that if I put it outside the forever block, it's yellowed out because it's not connected to any other block here. It doesn't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna drag this over, and you'll notice here that in the forever block, you have the yellow lines where it's gonna kind of click into place. And so next it says, in the show LED, to click on the squares to draw a heart design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw a heart. 
Now notice, as I'm doing this, check out my simulator over here. It's processing, and there we go. This is my code. This is what it would look like if I had an actual micro bit with me. All right, that is step the first step. Let's continue on to our next step. Step two tells us to drag another show LED block. So just like from our last directions, and if you need to go back, you can choose these arrows to go back and forth. We're going to click on the basic. We're going to do show LED, and we're going to drag them underneath here. Okay, so drag another show LED block underneath. And now look, our heart is flashing because this is a forever loop. So it's telling the micro bit continuously show a heart, don't show a heart, show a heart, don't show a heart. Okay, look at our micro bit. Do you see your flashing heart? We sure do. We have coded a flashing heart. So here on our final step, if we had a physical micro bit, we would click download and we would download this to the physical micro bit and have it show this flashing heart on our actual micro bit. Finally, it tells us that we can go further by adding more show LED blocks to create a longer animation. And so if we want to, we can click on show LED and I can drag more over here. So maybe I want to kind of switch this up and maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my heart fill up. So I'm going to So now let's check out our simulator over here and see what it looks like. Our heart's filling up. Once we're finished, we can go ahead and click done. Now this brings us to our full set of tools here. So we can go through and we can look at all of these tools and we can see exactly what type of code and things that we can use, what kind of blocks we could use with our micro bit. So that was a quick demo of the flashing heart tutorial in make code for micro bit. Be on the lookout for more tutorials on make code for micro bit as we walk through some of the other tutorials and look at some of the other lessons in make code. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next video.